The third ridiculous strategy in the business world is exclusiveness and competition. I keep hearing the word slash synonym slash word forms exclusive in the business world. God creates people in order to share information to one another, thus helping one another. Some people do not want to share information or other assistance with other people, thus cueing selfishness. I think that businesses have contracts that state, you only do business exclusively to us and to nobody else. I call it the you cannot choose both attitude. Some businesses have hatred to other businesses because some businesses have negative experiences from other businesses by putting down. Most businesses have a no friendship policy to other businesses to prevent from future betrayal in reality by learning past reality. The end justifies the means. If I had a gaming business, I would team up with all gaming businesses. Some businesses have a blacklist because they have negative experiences with other businesses and with other people. In contrast, God has no blacklist and he loves all of us, including our enemies. When you listened to my editorial, Problems About Brand Censorship, I told you that trademark censorship is ridiculous and unnecessary. For more information, please listen to this editorial. Once again, what happened to Romans chapter 12, verse 10? The fourth ridiculous strategy in the business world is carelessness to guests and to fanatics by denying positive changes. When you write letters to change the expectations positively, you could receive a response letter that states, we will work on that. But subliminally, the response is no. I wrote those letters to businesses to change things positively to understand my experience. I saw businesses that have guests customization of things. Photos, cakes, hats, signs, etc. And businesses have to be slaves to intellectual property laws. I hope that those businesses will go out of business because those businesses are hopeless to guests because of carelessness and because of slavery to intellectual property laws the slogan the law is always right and the customer is always wrong will be the new slogan. What happened to the old slogan? The customer is always right. Thank you very much. The consumers and the fanatics should be the final judge. Not hopeless, ridiculous laws. Enforcing discrimination of any kind Mostly age discrimination counts as carelessness and discrimination negatively hurts. BBB allows discrimination of any kind. Thank you very much, BBB's contact page. I am disappointed in today's economy. After I saw the low expectations in the business world that I mentioned. Authorities in the business world are being more like jerks. I am sorry that I said that, but I have to question authorities to end the low expectations right now and I would 
sue every business that commits any low expectation that I mentioned. In the future, future entrepreneurs who are against low expectations will state, I cannot be successful because low expectations are in the way. Thank you very much. It is time that businesses should reevaluate their priorities. Low expectations are inexcusable. If I was running a business, I would not use the strategies of low expectations that I mentioned. Does Romans chapter 12 verse 10 state, be selfish to one another? That is false. Romans chapter 12 verse 10 states that we should show brotherly love to one another. When somebody commands you to prohibit friendship with the enemy convince the authority figure about Romans chapter 12 verse 10 and slash or pray for the authority figure about Romans chapter 12 verse 10. Should we put the low expectations in the business world that I mentioned into extinction. After all, we all are affiliates of God and we all are on the same team, God's team. Money is not important. You cannot put a price on hope and slash or on friendship. God's economy is not human's economy.